Hello and welcome back to my channel. I found a hitchhiker on the way to the antique mall. So, um, here, here's the hitchhiker. <gasps> it's she me. picked me up. Yeah, she didn't look too intimidating. <laughs> I thought I could take her if I had to. This, Just had to show her a little leg, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one, the only Pamela Blanchard. I will link her YouTube channel in the description box below. If you don't know who she is, you're really missing out. She is an antique and vintage reseller, just like me. And we are at Ben's Antiques and Market in Douglasville, Georgia. And she has never been here before. It is a regular stomping ground for me. And if you are a regular viewer of my channel as well, you know that Rachel from the Rusty Snail is one of my all-time favorite vendors. I've filmed her booth here before, and I sell her ephemera packets on my channel all the time. But her booth is going out of business. She is retiring. Congratulations, Rachel. Congratulations, Rachel. But everything in her booth is 50% off. So when Pam found that out, she was in her car, lickety split, Boom. headed here to Georgia. So we're going to go in. We're going to shop the other booths too, but particularly Rachel's. So without further ado, let's go see what we can find. Yay, bye y'all. got to Rachel's booth here it is I'm just gonna give you a quick overview and then we're gonna dive in but oh my gosh I asked Pam I said you want to share a buggy she said no I need my own buggy karma and I said yes ma'am but everything is 50% off and just look at all of the I mean her style is so so similar to mine and Pam's and we're just gonna Buy her out. We're gonna do our best, right, Pam? Exactly. I mean, I I can't even talk. <laughs> the first item I have to grab that I saw is this huge bag of vintage USSR um, ornaments of the like figural ornaments, and there's other ornaments in here, and it is forty dollars, which means it's twenty dollars for the whole bag. But there is a lot, a lot in here. So this is the first thing going in the buggy. Pam, you want to show them your thing you're excited about? Yes. Okay. When I got to Ariana's, I mean, I've been there before, but yes, no, today I noticed something different. And it was like, no, last night. It was this a little, it looked like a clock case to me, like this, but she said it was for little um, penny dolls or like Now, the dolls. one I have is, I'm not sure what this originally was. It may have originally been a clock, but this right here, it's got a shelf, so they'll sit. Yes. And yes. have one little one peeking yes. out right there. That's going to be good. Yeah. I so, cannot wait. And then we're definitely, too, going to have to get in this case. Like, yes. We need everything. We just need everything. And then, do you see these? Amazing, all the tobacco tags. We need to see if we can FaceTime Katie and show her these tobacco tags. Okay. Beautiful. Maybe she's not up yet. <laughs> got this jar full of all the vintage sewing notions. I love I love these wooden um, ones with the needles in it. I just think that's really pretty. It's 24 and it will be $12 because it's 50% off. And then look at this amazing swing frame. It was eight and it's going to be four with the white and the pink chippy. I love this piece. Me and Pam, we started on this shelf and we've only made it to still this shelf. <laughs> so we're kind of, and then I saw, look at this. This is a old antique inkwell, and it is, is in great condition, absolutely beautiful. I'm just not sure what, who would want a singular inkwell? I'm not sure. And then here's a dragonware cup and saucer. Let's see, is it a hidden geisha? No geisha, but still really pretty. I like those colors. I like the colors. Got some kitchen stuff and some, oh, I love like the silver plate. I think that's so pretty. And I was looking at the stereoscope. It's really, really cool. It would only be $25, but it's missing its handle. So I'm not sure on that piece yet. And just look at all of the antique books. I'm trying to find some books for 
just to set books with pretty spines to set in my one of my curio cabinets. Well, now's the here's the place. How much is that one? This one would be seven dollars. Not bad. No, not with that pretty. See, I like that. All that Art Deco look to it, and all yeah, that. Yeah, I like the title there. of that one. Yeah, Human Physiology. Human Physiology. Found some crystals. Four, so it'd be two. Four, so it'd be two. And four, so it'd be two. I think I'm gonna get these two. I love them. So we're gonna get those. We're the only ones here so far, so I'm not too in a frantic hurry. This is really, I like this. Mid-century spindle. I mean, it's simple, but wouldn't that look pretty in like an old jug, like all of these collected? I might get a couple of those. And here's an alligator head for 15 with 50% 50 off. I'm going to get him too, Mr. Alligator Man. And then we've got, here's a whole bunch of Wade Whimsies for, they'd be $6 a bag. That's not bad. And then all that ephemera. I also love this 1897 color Eno's ad. Isn't that gorgeous with the rainbow? I'm gonna pick, look, Eno's fruit salt. You ever had you salt know, on no, your fruit? No. Some people yes, like I mean, it. I've had fruit salt, period. Fruit, fruit salt, well, there it is if you want some, but gorgeous. I love a little it. break from filming just because we were literally digging like naked mole rats. But here is Pam's cart just from Rachel's booth. <laughs> she got this amazing, huge bag of vintage and antique postcards and just so much. I don't want to mess up all her stuff because it's delicately <laughs> laid in there, but great things. And then here's my cart. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. Um... But, you know, she's, first of all, she's one of my dearest friends, so I'm going to support her. And then second of all, there's just amazing things here. So I had to, I had to do it. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Uh, yeah. What do you think, Pam? Are you happy? I'm ecstatic. So here are our carts, and we haven't even been but to one booth. So, yeah actually been in this mall for a while now but I haven't found anything since Rachel's booth this mall has some really nice vendors but they're just not like so in line with my aesthetic as Rachel's is so um I don't know I I don't know we did really good at Rachel's so it's not like the mall was a wash or anything I just haven't found anything else yet so I haven't checked in with you guys but I will I promise if I find anything there's some cookie jars over here. Look at this guy. You look a little squished. A little squished. Here's some old store stuff. Some old advertisement pieces. Comic books. Oh, this is cool. Little watch parts. These are fun. Lapel pin. Here's some old stick pins in this bag. Odd pins, five dollars. Is that hair? Hmm, I can't tell. That might be hair. That might be a Victorian morning hair button. I'll have to take it out and look. I've always wanted one. I've never found one. That might be. Let me take it out and we'll look at it a little closer. So hard to tell because the fiber is so fine like hair, but I can't say for certain if it is or isn't. Um, I'm leaning towards it is though. I'm not sure. Or I really can't. This one has me a little bit perplexed, but I think I might pick it up anyways, just in case. And plus, there's other really pretty doodads in here. Like, um, I like let's see, this piece, the Mother of Pearl um, belt fastener. But this, I'm just perplexed. I can't tell. 
little bit of research and I actually think that it is morning hair. I'll insert the picture right here for you um, of a piece I found that's similar and I'm so excited. I've always wanted to find a morning hair button and I never have in the wild and here it is and for five dollars for all of it so I'm super excited. I'm really happy. Like this it's on sale for ten dollars and it is this old paper mache hand painted handmade little cottage isn't that cute with all the detail on it and i love the base how it's you know older and chippy and then here's the bottom i really like it so i'm gonna get this too maybe find a little tiny horse to put in there or something isn't that cute i love it so i'm gonna grab this other than rachel's booth and then the Victorian hair morning button, which I'm super excited about. I didn't find anything else at the mall, so I didn't really continue to film, but now we are at another place called Flipped Antiques in Douglasville, Georgia. So we're gonna head in here and see what we can find. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love it. <laughs> I can already tell. Like this. U.S. Navy. It's an old scrapbook. I don't know the price. Let's see. Is there a price on you? No price that I see. But this is super cool. I love it. I'm going to see how much this is. Watch your step. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a whole bohemian vibe she's cute modern but that is cute flower fairies 1992 I bet you Pam will pick that up watch watch and see oh I see some but how to get to them? I'm not that small. Mm, can we go around this way? I'm on the hunt for ironstone today. Nope, can't go that way. <laughs> can't go over it. Can't go under it. Let's try this way. Okay, we're gonna step over. Mm. Hello, do you see me? I'm finagling. All right, let's see. Twelve dollars isn't bad. Let's see, is it modern? Corning. I know this one's modern. And then they have these two up here, made in China. Well, we tried though. Is there anything else over here? Is this Holt Howard or Lefton? It's a Holland mold. Hmm. At this booth, I found three things. I found an ironstone plate for a dollar. And I found this Lucite flower paperweight for a dollar. That is such a good price. And then look at the color in the atomic look of this um, four jewels made in the USSR clock and I don't know if you can hear it but it works and it's such a fun mid-century color I love it so yay three things not too shabby I like this it's a mid-century brass crane it's twelve dollars but it's half off so it'd be six and I think it would be so nice on a dresser and put your rings on its neck maybe a couple rings around the base so I'm gonna get this too and we're gonna see what's in here together I haven't been in this room yet, so I'm not sure. Ooh, ribbon is 50 cents. I might pick up some ribbon for my packages. I'll go through that in a minute. Got some babies down there, but not the babies I'm into. Hello, children. Hello. I want to find some more ironstone. That's what I want. 
Okay, I'm praying for you. I hear her coming. <laughs> that laugh. I love her laugh. There is a single uranium candlestick holder. That's kind of cool. I wonder how much that is. Got this German candy paper mache container. Well, I worded that weird. Paper mache German candy container for 50 cents. And then look at this. There's this amazing old doctor bag and I haven't tried to close it because I like it open like that that's how it was and I think I'm gonna get this it'll be $12 and it's huge look let me show you um because I can put a plant in there like a potted plant hanging out I think that'd be beautiful and then also sorry for my shoddy camera work I'm gonna get this bag of jewelry boxes for a dollar mostly for this vintage celluloid one in here it's beautiful, and then I can use the others for when I ship out jewelry, so not too shabby. I'm happy. Make it two more feet before I found two more things. Here's the first one. Knott's Berry Farm, California, with the beveled glass little display in the center. That is $2, half off, so that'd be a dollar. And then look at this. So I love this. I've actually done this before. This is an old clock with this etched glass um sides on it very art deco it's ten dollars it'll be five but what i do with this is you can go on the bottom and unscrew the clock and then it makes a beautiful glass display for anything you want to kind of elevate and just dress up and it's like just the perfect little display for a small assemblage so i'm gonna get this and this too we are at our final location of the day we are at chaos and boo boo still in douglasville georgia so we did really good at the first place and the second place, so I'm hoping we can keep up the momentum in this one. Oh, I'm terrible. I didn't film. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I got, I don't know the prices. It's kind of like fill your cart and then talk about the prices. But I got a couple of ironstone pieces. This really beautiful double-sided hand mirror with the detailing along the edges. And then these are resin little figurines that have a really thin layer of sterling silver on them. Um, and I got the bird and the little squirrel and a little, um, oh, what is this called? Porcupine or hedgehog, I'm not sure, probably hedgehog. And a baby squirrel. And then three of these snails, one for me, two for you. And here's the situation. It's definitely a dig in deep type of place which I love I love that I haven't been back this way so we're experiencing it together but you see how fun isn't that fun it's this bottle wash blue it's the spoon isn't that pretty now this does have a price six dollars that's not bad <laughs> and like I love digging through these that's why it's hard to film because you see I'm like a little mole rat I just want to dig they are cool oh that's an old moth or something yeah it's deteriorated oh it was a butterfly you can see its wing is outlined so sad but I did find this look at this Carter's Ink, isn't that cool? Midnight Blue Black, and it is $2. So I'm gonna get this, and we're just looking at all these old bottles. Super fun. And I decided to do a haul video at the end of my shopping trick trip, not trick. It was a treat, not a trip. But I decided to do a haul video at the end of my shopping trip with Miss Pamela Blanchard and I'm going to start with everything I got at the Rusty Snail, which is my dear, dear friend, Rachel. Um, she is the first booth we stopped at. So at Rachel's, I got, and I'm going to also show you what I'm keeping for myself and then what I'm selling. And if I can remember, I will do my best to tell you what I spent on each item. This is the first item I purchased. It is just a rusty, crusty, uh, what do you call it? Rake. It's a rake. And this is going to be for me and for the Withering Cottage. And I'm going to show you two other things I purchased from Rachel. First being this really old, primitive copper spoon. 
and I'm going to use this the same way she had it displayed in her booth to hang my favorite primitive kitchen utensils on. And then the second item I got is this really just crude style pitchfork thing with a white chippy handle. And that is going to go on this as well in my kitchen. And of course I have to add to it. So poor me needs more shopping, but I love this. So this is the first few things I purchased from her. Then I decided I have this cabinet above my stove and I decided I really want to start collecting more ironstone. So I was really on the lookout for ironstone that day and I was able to come across this giant made in the USA Hall ironstone platter. This was, I think, oh gosh, 14 and half of that so not bad at all and then for those honestly I don't remember they were not much though I can assure you of that so I got this giant piece of iron stone next I'm going to show you the biggest piece I purchased from Rachel and I am going to be bringing this to a live sale which is kind of crazy of me because it is going to be a doozy to ship but I hope that it turns out the way that I have it in my head so this is the largest item I picked up from her booth. It is this really old leather suitcase. It does say Georgia Tech on the front and on the back, but it is in pretty good condition. It still has this original handle. I just love the, the wear on it and the well-traveled look of it. I couldn't leave it behind. It was $58, so half of that. 2750 I don't know don't count me but I think it was 58 and although I don't necessarily hate Georgia Tech and I'm not a Georgia Tech fan I just wasn't the biggest fan of the front of it so I got these ephemera pieces from her as well and I'm going to decoupage the front of the suitcase so I got this um vintage well what year is this from Copyright 1889, so antique um, postcard. So that'll be on the front. And then I got all these really fun little, I don't even know what they were originally, but they're small little state capital things. And I just thought those would look really cool periodically all over the suitcase as well, kind of like places that maybe they had been. And then this uh, copyright 1989, Pennsylvania postcard as well. So I thought these would look really cool, just kind of decoupaged and sporadically placed all over the front of that suitcase. So I'm gonna craft, and then I'll be bringing that to one of my Tuesday night live sales. Next up from Rachel's booth, I'm gonna show you my ephemera that I purchased. First being this amazing Eno Health Messenger. The jeopardy of life is immensely increased without such a simple, precaution as Eno's fruit salt but isn't this beautiful it does have signs of wear obviously it is an older advertisement piece but just those colors and subject matter of this piece I could not leave it behind I think this was eight dollars with 50% off and then I got this old shoe advertisement I don't know of the year because it is just a page out of a magazine but oh my gosh, how beautiful are all of these boots? So I picked that up and then I got this night cream ad, which I love the crescent moon on this jar of night cream and this beautiful sleeping woman. So I picked this up at, as well. This would look amazing framed hung in a bathroom. Really happy with that. And then I got this advertisement for hats and maybe a parasol and some clothing as well. And then to go with this piece right here, I also picked up to sell with it, this amazing photo of a woman in a very furry hat. Gorgeous, goes with the hats. And I also picked up one more. Where are you, lovely lady? These two. When they're super fun hats. I just want to be their friends. Don't they look like they're just having the best time? So all three of these will more than likely be sold together. Just a really fun Victorian hat smorgasbord. Love that. And then I'm going to go through this lot pretty quickly because I did go a little cray cray on the ephemera. 
First, I'll show you this amazing, Thou hast my heart, then why not give me thine? It is this really beautiful angel pulling in some fish in a net. I just think that that is absolutely gorgeous. And none of these are reproductions. And then I got this old restaurant advertisement in an oyster. This picture of a little girl who's holding her dolly. I love picking up antique or vintage photographs of children with their toys. So I had to get that. This Victorian die cut advertising piece. This one as well with the little uh, rocking horse or horse on wheels, I guess I should say. And then we have this Victorian advertisement with the little kids, really fun. I love this baby in the seashell. This is another Victorian advertisement. This one is probably my favorite that I picked up. It says, we miss you when you're sick. Little folks are meant to play happy, happy, rewind. Little folks are meant to play healthy, happy every day. All your friends and toys miss you, so old naughty germ, skadoo. And look, it's a germ. She's, she's beating the germ with a stick. I love that. And then it has a little provenance on the back to I'm assuming whichever child was feeling a little under the weather. And then I have this large Victorian advertising of these children just getting into trouble. All these Victorian die cuts. Victorian die cut. Victorian advertisement, the little kid with the dominoes, calling cards, ad for sewing machine advertisement. This is for coffee, because nothing makes you want coffee more than this image right here. See? Coffee. More Victorian die cuts. And then last but not least, not a Victorian anything 1913 dutch calendar zealand it's got 1913 and all the little pages are here with all the dutch images and it's got what i believe to be its original little string which is super cute so i picked this up as well moving right along we are still in rachel's booth I picked up this bag of old knobs. I don't necessarily have a project in mind for these as of yet, but I knew that later down the road I will, and I would have greatly uh, regretted not picking these up because they're really, really beautiful. I might even utilize them in my kitchen. I'm not entirely sure yet. These were, I believe, $15 half off, and all the ephemera, really none of it other than the larger pieces, was more than $2 before the half off. Um, next up, taxidermy alert. If you're not a taxidermy person, look away. But I did pick up this taxidermy alligator. So he will be available for purchase on the Tuesday night live sale. I know, I know he's not everybody's cup of alligator, but I like him. So maybe someone else will. I had to rescue him. I always pick up taxidermy when I see it for an affordable price because I just feel like they need to find their home, you know? Then I also picked up these two really beautiful crystals and I love the color. I love how just kind of understated they are. And I love having these throughout my house. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to keep these two or not or bring them to a sale. That is still to be determined, but I did really enjoy these. Then I picked up this giant jar of vintage sewing notions. Now, I thought this was a great deal because it has these wooden needle holders in here. You get quite a few of them, and these can be quite collectible, so I was really happy with this. And also, there are tons of thimbles in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through it and pick out like some things to utilize in my personal collection, or if I'm just gonna sell it like it is. But either way, I did pick this up. Then for myself, I picked up this a beautiful antique swung glass frame. I love the pink and the white chips on it and the little detail right here in the front. I am gonna put a piece of my favorite um, Victorian ephemera right here and display it somewhere in my home. I'm not entirely sure where yet, 
but it will go somewhere in my house. Then, moving right along, I found this amazing large champagne bucket. I've been having, I've had this on my want to find list to bring to a live sale for a while. And there it was just sitting there ready for the pick in. These look amazing at Christmas time with little trees in them or Halloween with an orange tree in there or in your um, guest bathroom with towels or even as a little trash can for your bathroom or workspace. These are very multi-purposeable, multi-purpose. And I was really happy when I found it. And I told Pam, I said, don't hate me, but I I'm gonna get this. And she said, that's fine. So that was good. Next up, this is one of my favorite things I was able to pick up from Rachel. This is an entire bag of vintage USSR figural ornaments. It was $20, so half off was $10 for all of these ornaments. That is such an amazing deal because these ornaments are quite collectible. So I was super happy to pick this up. I actually had two people stop me that saw these in my car and were saying how jealous that they were that they weren't able to snag them before I was. So that's always a good sign, you know? And I was polite and said, I'm so sorry, but I just, I'm not willing to get them up. And they did come home with me. So love that. Now, oddly enough, these are my favorite purchases from Rachel. So the first thing being is this old vintage fishing chain. You would put the fish that you caught on these large hooks and have them hanging just like this with all your little fish dangling from the chain. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to space these out because they do just simply un... Um, latch from here. I'm going to space them out and I'm going to make a garland. So I'm going to hang some of my favorite with like um, clothes pins and not bobby pins. What are, the, what are those called? Paper clips. And hang some of my favorite ephemera from here and make kind of like a bunting to go on one of my hutches in my home. Super excited about this piece. And then to go along with the chain, and the bunting idea that's in my head. I was able to pick up this bag of vintage chandelier crystals. And these are the older ones and there's different shapes and sizes in here. And I'm also going to kind of drape them along this chain with my old ephemera and ribbons and just some really fun stuff. And it's gonna be a one of a kind garland. And I can't wait to play with this. This was my favorite find. So really happy about these two things. Now that was it for Rachel's. I'm really happy with everything I was able to pick up. I will miss her booth tremendously. You have no idea. Now, other than Rachel's booth, we did of course shop the rest of the mall. Unfortunately, I was only able to find three things at the mall that were not in Rachel's booth. First being this vintage receipt spike. These are really great for displaying your ephemeras. So this will be available on a Tuesday night live sale. Then I, I did pick this up for myself. This is, someone made this. It's a paper mache bark, hand painted, just really amazing little cottage that somebody had put together. And I absolutely fell in love with it. It did get a little damaged in the bag. It was, you know, it got smooshed a little by something, but that should be an easy repair. But there are so many little details and I love the chippy wooden base. And I have, I think, a little horse I'm gonna put in there. I can't wait to set this up and play with it. So this is gonna be for me. Love this piece. And then the final thing I picked up at the mall was this little grab bag of goodies for $5. And I actually caught me finding this on camera, which I thought was so funny because I wasn't finding anything. And then I caught me viewing this on camera. So we're gonna go through the things that I'm not as excited about first before we get into the piece that I'm super excited about. First being this brass um, belt buckle or shirt tie. And then the second is this old ship button cover. Then this, I don't know what this is, if it's stone, I'm not sure, it is marked. I'll have to try to use a magnifying glass to see that. But it is this green glass rhinestone belt buckle, possibly. Here's the back. And it does have an engraving right here. So I will try to read that. 
it is a pretty piece. It is missing some rhinestones, but I could replace those if I had to. And then we have this cuff link, which is a really unique cuff link. It's like a little red flower. That would get in my way, you know, if I was a guy. It always catch my eye. I'd be like, ooh, something shiny. But it is a really pretty cuff link. And then I got this Mother of Pearl. This is probably Edwardian little belt buckle or, you know, go right here on their waist where their dress skirt is. And then it has the beautiful part. What would you call this? The It's called the, you know what I mean, but that is beautiful. But of course, the Pisa Resistance is this. This is what I believe to be a Victorian hair mourning button. Now I was looking at it up close and it was kind of hard to tell because it is so finely woven to see if it is hair or not. Um, but upon further inspection and some more research, I think that I'm comfortable in saying that I do definitely think that it is Victorian hair mourning. I do have a Victorian hair mourning collection and I don't own a single button. But now I do. And I just couldn't believe that it was just sitting in that little grab bag for $5. So yay. This is, this was amazing. I was super happy to find this piece. The next stop of our trip, we went to Flipped Antiques in Douglasville, Georgia. And I actually did really, really good there too. So the first thing I picked up with was this little ironstone saucer for my new found ironstone collection. Not super crazy of a find, but I was happy to find it and it was only a dollar. Now I do have two pair of, or one pair of Lucite candlesticks here in the Withering Cottage office, but they are not matching. But that works out because I was able to find one glass uranium candle holder. So I will be pairing this with a Lucite candlestick and be offering that on my Tuesday night live sale. Next piece I picked up was this amazing mid-century made in the USSR. I can't quite read that name, but four jewels alarm clock. Amazingly, amazingly enough, it does still work. Look at those hands in the atomic little starburst style spacers and these amazing numbers. It's absolutely stunning. And then this color. I jumped on this piece. I thought it was gorgeous. It was a really good price and I picked this piece up. Now something I didn't catch on film was as we were leaving, I found this amazing rusty crusty metal flower frog, which I collect these. And at first I was a little deterred by this plastic piece, but it is just puttied on there. So no problem whatsoever. This was $12, but half off. So $6 for a new flower frog to add to my collection had to grab that. Then I got this photo album of the US Navy. I was so happy when I found this and not only did I freak out because I just loved all the little provenances in here and little writings that they added to this photo album, but it didn't have a price on it. And when I took it up and asked them how much it was, they told me that it was $4. So for $4, I had to grab it. I think it's amazing. I can't wait to look through it and learn about the family and read who all they were. So I was super happy to find this piece. Next up, I got this. Now I haven't even taken this out of the plastic sleeve. It was sealed when I found it. It says mine, a magazine for the Catholic child, April, 1947. But I loved the cover. Look at the anthropomorphic bunnies. Have this framed and set up in your display for Easter. I just think that cover is absolutely amazing. Here's the back cover. I'm excited to open it up and look through it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this piece yet or if it's going to be for sale. So stay tuned for that. Then I'm going to show you the biggest piece I picked up at that location. And it is this super big and worn and weathered doctor's bag. I have always wanted an old doctor bag like this, but they tend to be a little out of my price range just for, because they would really be used for nothing more than aesthetic purposes. But this one was $24 and half off. So $12 for that giant doctor bag. 
And what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to buy myself a fig tree and put it in here, not plant it in there, plant it in the planter and put the planter in the doctor bag as a display for my home. I just love the weathered look of this doctor bag and I can't wait to find it a place in the withering cottage. Now at this current moment, I do feel a little bit like Mary Poppins because I have my giant doctor bag with treasures inside. So I'm just gonna dig in. First thing I got in my doctor, what do I have in my doctor bag? If I was a doctor, this is what I'd carry around. A cotton spun bird in a nest. Yes, I did get this. How cute would this look in a cloche? Add some moss in here, maybe some alabaster eggs, put some moss on the bottom and put it inside a glass cloche. I think it will be beautiful. Not sure yet if I'm gonna keep it or sell it, but that's what I was thinking when I found this piece. Then I got this little sea urchin that is gonna go in my fake, fake aquarium in my house. Love that. I was able to pick up, don't let go of me, <laughs> two things of ribbon for 50 cents each. I do tie every item up that I sell in my business up with a ribbon. So I do pick them up when I find them for, you know, a pretty affordable mounts, amount. So I got two things of ribbon. I also got this made in Germany little paper mache candy container. This was only 50 cents, which is such a good deal. So I picked this up. Then I got this amazing Lucite floral paperweight with a real flower inside. And this was only a dollar. So I could not pass that up. So I picked him up as well. Then I got this bag of jewelry boxes. Now, none of them in here are really that impressive with the exception of one, which I think this was worth the whole bag. The bag was only $1 for all of the boxes. The other ones I'll just more than likely use for if I sell a piece of jewelry here on my channel, I'll use them for shipping. But this was really the reason why I bought the lot. It is this amazing celluloid jewelry box with the uh, velvet inside. Love the colors, and these can actually be pretty collectible. So I was happy to get that. I also picked up this Knott's Berry Farms California little ashtray with the glass convex, <laughs> convex little display in the bottom. I love the patina of it, and I love this glass, and I absolutely adored the font of the Knott's Berry Farms around the edge. So this will also be available on a Tuesday night live sale. I also picked up that bronze crane. I just think it has an old world vibe to it. Put this in a library or put it on your vanity and put your rings around its neck and your other little trinkets down here at its feet. I loved its height and the slender lines of this piece. Slender, slender, slender lines of this piece. And I think it will be really easy to incorporate into any display. So I did grab him. Then I grabbed a fake plant. Now this was $3. I love incorporating these into my designs. Put this in an iron stone mug. Because the base is so small, it is really easily incorporated into many different places in your home. You won't see this part. You'll just see this part and I don't have to water it or worry about its well-being because it's fake. And for $3, I'll take that all day long. I mean, just to kind of give you an example, I said it like this. It all just fell over. But imagine you put some fluff in there, raised it up. That would be beautiful. And for what? This was 10, this was three. $13. And you have a beautiful new piece for your home display. Next up and final piece from Flipped in Douglasville was this amazing weathered clock. Now the clock, of course, no longer works. It has a beautiful patina to it, truthfully. Um, but actually what I think I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to unscrew the clock and take it completely out of this glass display and use it for something else I want to display, whether it be a piece of taxidermy, like imagine there, there's no clock and you put this in there with some moss and some seashells, not that 
I understand. Don't come for me in the comments. I know alligators don't live in the ocean, but I just mean make a little display in here. And for $5, I, how could I pass that up? It has all of its glass panels, beautiful art deco etching. And I love the handle because whatever I put in there, it's just going to look like a little traveling display. So really, really happy about this piece. And that is everything we got at Flipped. And the last place we went to was called Chaos and Boo Boo's, which I just think is the most fun name ever. I was able to pick up this. I'm not gonna show you, it is double-sided, but I don't wanna blind you with yourselves. Amazing old mirror. And look at that amazing detail on the handle. Isn't it gorgeous? So I grabbed this. Now they did a bundle price, so I really can't tell you how much each item was, but I spent about $45. Um, then I got this really fun Carter's Ink little inkwell with the cats on it. Loved that. Then I got some more ironstone, yay for me. I got an old ironstone mug, coffee mug, with the saucer. Happy about that. And I think that, I mean, again, I don't really know how much that was, so I, I couldn't tell you. And then I love this. This is exactly the style of ironstone. I love weathered, stained, and I love the thickness. So I was really happy with this bowl as well. Then the last things I got were this little compact. I love the patina on it and this little weathered mirror. I don't know what I'm gonna put in this. Actually, I do. I just gave my daughter her first haircut and I think I'm gonna put her little lock of hair in here. I think it will be perfect. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this piece. Gotta tell myself, bring this one in. Now, these are the last items I picked up at that store. Now, I don't know much about these, and I did briefly try to research them, and I wasn't able to come up with much, but they are these sterling silver plated or wrapped figurines. They are marked on the bottom 925. 925, it's right there. And then some other information. I know that's a 5, and I think that's an R. So, R and 5. And now I know that they are not solid sterling. Oh, and there's some more information right here. Let's see. Now I know they are not solid sterling. They are casted resin or some kind of other material and then wrapped in a sterling silver foil. So I just thought that they were beautiful. So I got this one. I got the little squirrel. I got the little hedgehog with the bow tied around its neck. I think that one might be one of my favorites. I got the baby squirrel. And then I got three snails. Two for resale and one for myself. And then there again is the 925 marking. They're so detailed. So yeah, I had to pick up three of those because I want to keep one. And I just think these are the cutest ones. These and then the hedgehog. But anyways, we did it. That is everything I picked up on my shopping extravaganza with Pamela Blanchard. Now, if you don't follow my friend Pamela, I have linked her channel in the description box below. Please go check her out. She has amazing live sales every Saturday night. And just thank you guys for hanging in. I know it was a longer video, but if you did, if you're here now to the end, you're a champion and you win the prize. Don't know what the prize is, but you won it. Congratulations. But thank you once again for joining me at the Withering Cottage. Bye.